calling you up higher. He has called you not to live in the gutter, but to live a higher standard. He's called you to a higher understanding. He's called you to a higher dedication. God is calling people today to a higher level of sacrifice. Pocket change is not going to do it. God is looking for people to worship Him out of their whole heart. Now, our theme, our theme this month, our theme this month is remnant. And I talked a couple of weeks ago about remnant piece of fabric and, and what God can do with leftovers. But there was a big part of Webster's di Dictionary's definition of remnant. One was like well, rem the, the leftover part of the fabric, but the other was that which remained or remaineth. I want you to get this. Anybody here been in a hurry and had to use canned spaghetti sauce? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't care how hard. I don't care how slick the glass. I don't care how hard you shake it. You pour it out and there'll still be some cleaning. <laughs> Anybody know what's up that? Yeah. that spaghetti sauce? My mama taught me to run just a little water in the bottom. Right. Yeah. Get it all. Right. Get it all. That that clings to the inside that won't let go, that will just cling and hang in there, that is the remnant. Mm -hmm. Who in here has ever made a, a pot of stew? And you let it cook down, and you cook down, and you cook down, and then you get the ladle, and everybody eats a lot, and then you got to pour it up into something, put it in the fridge, and when you pour it out, it's almost like a gravy crust that's around me. That's what a remnant, that's what a, excuse me, a residue is. It is what has made itself stick to the surface. And, and not let go. No matter being poured, shaken, or stirred, it won't let go. Right, right, right. Anybody besides me glad for those uh, <coughs> little scouring pans? <laughs> now, I said that for a reason. I know that's not a glamorous or even tasteful uh, example, but that from, from the Greek, that's the closest thing. Can I say, you don't get a residue yeah. from watering it down. A residue is a result of something that's been over the fire and has just chemically bonded itself. And I'm telling you, God is looking for a residue. He's going to take what's left over, what won't let go, what won't let go of truth, what won't let go of the doctrine, what won't let go of dedication, what won't let go. I'm hanging on. I have a good friend that started seven churches in inner city Detroit, Michigan. If you didn't know it, a lot of those homes and high rises have been bulldozed after there was a great exodus in the late 2006, 7, 8, 9, 10. And it became just a bastion of criminal activity and, and flop houses for drug users. And they ended up just bulldozing. But he went in there at a low place and started seven churches and did a wonderful job. I say that for a reason. I said, Scott, how did you do it? He said, I would find me two or three people that this was their city. And that they had an urgency to stay there. That out of the ashes, out of the destruction, out of the drugs, this is my city. This is where I was born. And this is where I'll die. Now, I'm not, if you need to move your job treasure, I'm not preaching this that, but God is looking for a residue that's not going to give up, that's not going to let go. It's not said if I can find one or two people that this is my city, i got to make a difference. If I give up on it, what hope does it have? He said, you take the gospel of Jesus Christ with somebody that's determined all things are possible when you won't give up, when you won't let go, and when you won't go back. God is calling us to a higher level. Do you see what happened to Daniel and this group here in verse 17? They as a group, Daniel was the spokesman, but they purposed in their heart not to be defiled, and they ate what the Bible calls pulse. I really don't know if, I don't think that was orange juice with pulp in it. I, I, don't, I don't think it was granola. 
I think it was a combination of seeds, herbs, maybe some flour, wheat based, if you can imagine, even oatmeal. <coughs> But they ate it for 10 days, and after 10 days, those who eat the king's meat look pitiful, but those who have purposed in their heart. Can I tell you, you'll never go wrong by saying, I'm going to give up for God. I'm, yeah. give up for, yeah. I'm not giving up for pleasure, not for this world, not for carnal desire, but I'm going to sacrifice that God may be revealed in me and through me. They have purposed in their heart. And guess what happened on the other side of it, Sister Raphaela? Because they sacrificed from free will what they had. Nowhere does it say you had to do this, but they purposed in our, I want to make a difference. I want my people to know that God is still real. He still answers prayer. He's still moving among those who 